Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is the place to be if you want to lose the pain, lose your fear of pain, learn to trust your body, and do what you love for life. How many of you out there know what it's like to feel forward and crunched in your chest, like you don't have enough space here, maybe you have forward rotated shoulders or forward head posture? Well, I'm going to give you something really awesome today. It's taken me a long time to figure this one out. It's kind of stumped me. I have a few other techniques out there, um, but today I'm going to give you my absolute favorite to date technique for releasing the chest, specifically where pec major and pec minor meet. The fascia often gets restricted there, um, as well as front deltoids. So we're actually going to do a really awesome chest opener that's gonna bring your shoulders back and down, open your chest, allow you to breathe better, get your head up, and give you better posture and less pain. So you're gonna need a ball like this one, and honestly, this is the best ball for this. This actually, right here, gave me this idea. Um, so it's a medicine ball, it's a little squishy. Um, this is a four pounder. I got it at a sports authority. I'm sure you could find it online somewhere. Um, but basically you want something that has a bit of give where it can actually kind of mold to your body a little bit. We're gonna be on the floor. Um, I wouldn't use something extremely hard. And this, for me anyway, for my body type, is like the perfect size and shape to do what we're about to do. You can certainly try other balls out there um, like a lacrosse ball or, you know, but it's going to be smaller. I would absolutely recommend getting one of these if you want to get the most bang for your buck out of this technique. And then if you want to make it even better, you're going to use a foam roller and I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to use a foam roller to add more weight or compression um, into the chest and onto the ball to release the pec major and minor. So as some of you know, Every technique I've developed for mobility mastery for you guys for self-help fascia release is based on the technique I've developed that I use with my private clients called kinetics. And one of the techniques that we have is super powerful for opening up the chest. And I wanna show it to you today because it's what I'm basing the technique on that I'm about to show you. So you, I want you to kind of get what it's about, what we're actually trying to accomplish by putting weight into the chest and actually releasing it. So I'm gonna have my lovely assistant slash now graduated apprentice Carrie work on me actually for just a second to show you. So she's gonna be stepping on my chest here and I'm gonna do some movement that you're gonna do in a few minutes with the ball technique. So she's basically adding weight or compression to my pec major, pec minor, grabbing some of that deltoid fascia. You can let it sink in. And you can see just how powerful this compression is when she's using gravity and her body weight to pin all of that pec fascia and chest fascia. So I'm going to now move my arm in the movement. This will be the exact same movement you're going to do um, into kind of a uh, bent elbow position. And I'm going to be reaching back and she's kind of pinning me in place. And what this does is not, right now I'm moving into a position that really releases pec minor fascia. And this is one of the things that has really stumped me with self-help techniques. Like how do I get enough compression um, to release pec minor from pec major basically where they get stuck together. This is the best way I've known how to do it. And I've finally come up with a way that can mimic this. Okay, so this is the positioning you're gonna get into. If you have a foam roller, I would recommend using a soft one because all it's really doing here is propping you up a bit so you can put weight into this ball here. Now I want you to place the ball basically in that hole that's in your shoulder and you can see, you know, it kind of juts out. Um, my, I'm not on any bones here. I'm trying to kind of keep it into the soft tissue a bit. Um, and then we're going to do the movement that's going to stretch it out. But basically you want to find somewhere here where you're kind of comfortable um, and you can sink into the ball. So this is mimicking what I do in my private practice because you're using your entire body weight um, or a lot of it actually to sink into the ball and that's going to be give you a really powerful compression on all that chest fascia and then we're going to stretch it out and release it. So it's pretty simple. You're going to do the same movement I was doing um, in the other technique where Carrie was stepping on me um, but you're going to go into a bent arm position first if you feel like you've pinned something good and then very slowly creep your arm up and out and you may feel pec minor kind of plop under or clunk under 
um, type major. That just happened for me right there. It could happen both ways or maybe only one, but your goal is to kind of hunt that out. But really like anywhere you put this ball is gonna be up for grabs in terms of chest fascia, like soft tissue. So don't be afraid to kind of play around with where you put the ball. And then your hand can actually go up and out or another option would be actually going this way. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, you know, you could try in between the two. Um, maybe you could go out here and rotate. That's gonna grab a little bit of that front deltoid fascia as well when I rotate into it. So there are a lot of options here, but this is probably the best one. It's clunking all over the place under there. I don't know if it's visible. So I just got even more excited actually doing this right now to show you because I've only done it a couple times. I came up with this technique last week and I did both sides of my chest and right now I'm feeling so much more open here. I really need this one because I look down all day for work. So if you're on the computer, if you're looking down at work like me, if you know you have forward rotated shoulders, this is going to be an amazing one to bring those shoulders back and down, give you more freedom in your upper body. And basically, I think almost all of us could use this. So I hope you give it a try because it works so amazingly well. If you like this video, then maybe give us a thumbs up here on YouTube or share it on social media. If you want new episodes emailed directly to you, you can subscribe for our free newsletter at mobilitymastery.com or subscribe here on YouTube as well. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence.